Hi Pisces, this is Dana, Taurus Star Tarot, and we are about to do a reading for the sign of Pisces today. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If it hits home, that's awesome. That means the divine is speaking directly to you through the cards today. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your other signs. Today is Pisces. This is the sun sign. Your sun sign is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you feel about it. It's how you process that information. And your ascending sign is how you spit that information back out again. There's a link in the box below that will take you to a free website where you can find out what the other signs in your chart are if you don't already know. It's uh, super good to cross-watch those signs, not only those other signs, not only for yourself, but for the people that you're watching for as well. It will give you a lot of really good information about how they're feeling and how they are reacting and how they are disseminating information that's coming into them. I want to say thank you so much for all of the personal readings that you guys have scheduled with me. I am just really humbled and blown away that you guys trust me um, so much to, to do readings for your personal life. I really appreciate that a lot. That being said, if you'd like a personal reading just for you, just for your situation, 40 bucks will hook you up at TaurusStarTarot.com. Super easy to schedule. You just choose your day, choose your time. I'll show up. The cards will show out and we'll do a reading like this just for you, just for your situation. All right, let's get started with this badass reading right here, okay? This is a love reading. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a love reading. All right, so... We start off this reading with the Two of Cups, right? Uh, this is about unified partnerships, love relationships, right? So it was a little bit ambiguous, so I wanted a precursor to this Two of Cups. So here we go. In regards to commitment, coming together to collaborate with another person and prioritizing your life in regards to a love relationship, You have a heavy burden. You have a heavy burden when it comes to commitment and prioritizing this relationship in your life. You cannot seem to find mental clarity about betrayal that has happened in the past. You can't seem to find mental clarity about betrayal that has happened to the past and you can't seem to find the sweet spot for, for building a future with this person right? For building a home with this person, for having celebration around your home and your community and your friendship with this person. And with the seven of pentacles, you really don't feel like this is something that you want to invest in. The prince of swords comes in and says there is going to be action oriented communication in regards to the feelings that you have right here. There's going to be action oriented communication in regards to this, this, this new beginning that you're trying to start with this person, but you can't get over the pain from the past. This communication is going to um, bring swift change into your life, right? This is a card about action, speed, movement, and swift change. So you're going to communicate how you feel right here, and it's going to create swift change. What you're going to communicate is your indecision about engaging and working on something with somebody else, gaining mastery of the situation. You just, you don't want it. You can't get over the pain from the past and you just don't want it. Justice is going to be applied to this situation. Fairness, truth, cause and effect. What's the cause? The cause is the shady behavior in the past. What's the effect? You having an inability to get over that shady behavior in order to lay the foundation for this, this rekindled relationship in your life. You are going to come to terms with the way that you feel about somebody because the struggle is real. The struggle is real. You're, you're tired of struggling with this person. You're just tired of struggling with this person. It's been, it's been a long time coming and you are just tired of struggling. Maybe it, it's a relationship that you're in, right? Maybe it's a relationship that has come back into your life. Maybe it was something that you really, really wanted and it came back and, and there was commitment offered and, and, and teamwork and collaboration and prioritization 
offered in this relationship, but you just can't get over the pain from the past. And the Princess of Swords says that, um, that within yourself, you have came to the decision, you have come to the decision that there's a culmination to this entire situation right here. And you feel a sense of self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency meaning that you know how you feel now. You know how you feel, you've given it a go, and it's just not working out for you. The Eight of Cups says that you're walking away. You are walking away from disappointment and the feelings of, of just hopelessness in the relationship. You're walking away from it all because you understand that this was a cycle in your life that is over now. The world card is all about completion, integration, accomplishment, and travel. Okay, so the completion is the completion of this cycle, this karmic cycle in your life. One cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. There's an integration of all of your thoughts and feelings. All of these cards, each one of them is a thought, a, th a mental process or an emotional process, right? And you've, you've integrated all of these and you have self-sufficiency now and you know where you stand and how you feel about the situation. There is an accomplishment because one life cycle, you have recognized, you're cognizant that this was a life cycle that needs to end in order for you to be able to go on to the next life cycle. The life cycles, life cycles are only, new fresh life cycles are only given to us when we understand, accept, and implement that an old life cycle is over. When we consciously, cognitively, intuitively choose to end a life cycle, then and only then does the door open for a brand new life cycle to begin for us, okay? The Empress, I do believe, my Pisces friend, is, is you showing up in this reading right here. It's a dual purpose card, and I know your water energy, and this is earth energy, it's the card of Taurus, but nevertheless, you are taking on the power of the Empress. She is the culmination of all four queens in the deck. She's the queen of our security, our feels, our passion, and our thoughts, right? And this is you integrating the way that you feel about all of this into one solid power, which is the Empress. You are also going to seek out new abundance in your life. You're going to seek out new fertility and new birth in your life. And the alchemist, being the magician, comes in and reiterates that. You are manifesting something absolutely new in your life. We come down here to this devil energy, right? The devil is a representation of human nature. This is a card about attachment, addiction, restriction, and your shadow self, right? The, being human nature, the, we all have a propensity to be unhealthily attached to something, to have addictions, to have restrictions based on unhealthy attachments. We all have the propensity to have self-disparaging thoughts in our head, right? This is what this card represents right here. What this card represents for you is toxicity in this situation because you cannot get over the pain from the past. You just can't for whatever reason. Who knows what it was, who knows how severe it was, but you ha can't get mental clarity. You can't let it go. This devil card right here represents the toxicity that's in this relationship. It represents why you feel like you cannot go forward and invest and grow in this relationship. The death card comes in on top of that devil and says there's an end. Like the world card with the cycles ending, there's an end to this toxicity in your life. There's an end to it. There's an end. You are coming to terms with the way that you feel about this person and you're putting an end to the relationship. With the temperance card coming in, you are, um, you, you are, are creating balance in your emotions about how you feel, about how you feel. At this particular point, you go into the hermit mode, right? You're, see you're seeking, so you're doing some soul searching and some introspection, right? You're being alone for a minute and seeking some inner guidance about what it is that truly makes you happy. 
about what it is that truly makes you happy. The five of wands comes in and says that, um, says that uh, you, you, you are thinking about in this hermit mode, all of the conflict, all of the, the strife and the tension that this shady behavior from the past brings into your, into your mental right? You're trying to come to terms with it all. The four of pentacles, you're in major self-protection mode, major self-protection mode. What you're contemplating while you're in this hermit mode, right? Being in self-protection mode, thinking about all of the conflict, trying to come to terms with what it is that actually makes you happy. You are rolling around the control, the establishment, the structure of your life. Thinking and thinking and thinking, overthinking the situation a little bit, stuck in a, in a mental imprisonment, right? You're mentally restricted while you're going through this whole thing right here. And that's normal to be in the eight of swords energy while you're in the hermit mode, right? Well, you're thinking so much about, about all of this right here that you call in the high priestess, right? Now you're just not using your intellect. Now you're using your intuition as well. You're calling in the big guns, right, Pisces? You're calling in the big guns to help you reconcile what it is that makes you happy, to help you reconcile how it is that you're going to get um, um, comfort and happiness and satisfaction in your life, how you're going to get harmony and alignment in your life. The Nine of Swords, this card in this particular reading is about a painful lesson. Now, the extreme definition of this card is about depression, nightmares, intense anxiety, and despair. But the definition is also a painful lesson. And you have come to the conclusion that with the World card, a karmic cycle ending, a new cycle beginning, right? The Death card, that this was a painful lesson for you, a lesson nevertheless but a painful lesson for you and you come to terms with it. How do we know that? Because the queen of swords comes in and says, you are absolutely cutting it out of your life. You are cutting it out of your life. Hear those dogs. Oh. Hold on. I'm going to pause this and yell at those dogs. Hold on. Okay. Uh. Okay. So you're cutting it out of your life, right? Five of Cups comes in and says that you are moving on. You are absolutely moving on from this situation. The Chariot card reiterates that. This is an action card. This is about having the control, the willpower, the determination to take the action that you need to see success in this situation. The Three of Swords, you're moving on from the pain of the broken heart. Whatever this was up here, you're moving on from it. With the Six of Pentacles, um, you are, 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 are seeking another outlet by which to give and receive and share your life. The Prince of Wands comes in and says, you have a renewed sense of enthusiasm. You have an, a renewed sense of energy and passion, lust for life action, adventure. You're, you put it down and now you're excited and, and you're ready to go through all of this right here. The result of this decision right here fills you with just joy and excitement for life. Five of Pentacles says you are definitely leaving somebody out in the cold. Star card, star card comes in and says because of your cognizant awareness that this is a life cycle that is ending and a new life cycle that is beginning, beginning for you, you are filled with hope and faith and purpose and a sense of renewal in your life, in your mental, in your emotions. The Six of Swords says it's a regretful but necessary transition in your life. You wish things could have worked out. You wish you could have came to terms with the shady behavior up there. You, you wish things could have worked out, but they're not going to because of you, because of your choosing. Um, you're moving on, right? And the Six of Swords is about a regretful but necessary transition. What are you transitioning into? You're transitioning into the energy of the Nine of Cups. You are going to fulfill your wishes. You are going to seek comfort and happiness and satisfaction in your life. 
someplace else. And that is your reading, Pisces. It was pretty straightforward and to the point, right? Pretty straightforward and to the point. And um, this kind of, for some of you, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but this is kind of touches on some of the readings from the past month or so about somebody coming into your life, right? A new person coming into your life. Well, if that's the case for you, then they have come into your life and you've given it a good go right here, but you can't seem to get over the betrayal from the past and you're deciding to move on and end this karmic cycle and search for better things in your life. If you're already in a stable and committed relationship, um, you have had a change of heart based on some kind of shady behavior or some kind of deception. And you're moving on very quickly and you're just, you're just not going to take it. You are very cognizant of the life cycles ending and the new life cycles beginning. You are putting an absolute end to the toxicity in your life. And um, with a short sit down with the emperor and the high priestess and, uh, you know, tossing around all of these feelings, you've integrated it all. You've decided to cut it off. You've decided to walk away and pursue your own happiness. There you go, Pisces. That's your reading. I do hope it resonates. If it does, that's awesome. If it doesn't, that's okay too. All right. Namaste, my friends.